January the 30th, 1933. Hitler on his way to power. A few hundred men were ordered to shout, Heil, mein Führer. Could this have been just another change of government? The pictures convey an atmosphere of normality. A conservative cabinet with a new chancellor. The gentleman was chosen by us, but we will rule, said von Papen, the vice-chancellor. We being the old elites. But Hitler had never been in any doubt about it. Once he gained power, he would never let go. Was no one listening? It appeared to be a straightforward change of government, but it wasn't. Germany under the swastika. Germany on the march, straight into dictatorship. Those who did not march in step were hunted down. The reign of terror was established overnight. This footage was filmed secretly. An American film from this period, made by a young German Jew who had got out in time. Shock, fear, terror. The person who had seized power in Germany was no actor. A dictator who had something from the power, who was ready to die notwendige Brutalität, die Grausamkeiten einzusetzen und die eine kolossale Konsequenz in der Ausnutzung dieser Macht bewerkstelligt hat. Ten days after insinuating himself into power, Hitler appeared publicly for the first time as Reichschancellor at a rally in the Berlin Sports Palace. There was a huge turnout. Only dictatorship can achieve this, as Hitler would remark again and again. People stayed away from the Democrats. His slogans were still the same, only now they had added weight. He wanted to tidy things up. Few Germans cared precisely how. Finally, a man for sweeping changes. Zum ersten Mal zu einem Kampfziel erhoben. Damals gelobte ich mir zum ersten Mal als unbekannter Eiserer diesen Krieg zu beginnen und mich zu ruhen, bis endlich diese Erscheinung aus dem deutschen Leben beseitigt sein würde. Das war die Art der Diktion, die Art, wie er sprach, die Art, wie er also nicht sprach, die nicht schrie, sondern brüllte, seine Meinung in die Mikrofone brüllte. Bei all den Wochenschauen, die man da damals zu sehen bekam, da war das eigentlich für mein Gefühl ziemlich eindeutig. Wir wollen arbeiten, aber das Volk selbst, es muss mithelfen. Es soll nie glauben, dass ihm plötzlich Freiheit, Glück und Leben vom Himmel geschenkt wird. Er hat doch in seinem Hitler mal einen Kampf geschrieben, das Volk ist so dumm, dass man alles mit ihm machen kann. Man muss ihm nur jeden Tag dieselben Parolen vorhalten, positiv und negativ, dann wird es einem folgen. Wir wollen nicht lügen, wollen nicht spinnen. Ich habe es halt. Ich habe deshalb es abgelehnt, jemals vor dieses Volk hinzutreten und billige Versprechungen zu geben. The Reichstag was burning, hot enough to drive out the communists. Then books burned in Germany. Later, people. Hitler eliminated political opponents. Carried off into cellars and so-called wild camps, they were tortured and tormented. The majority of the population remained silent. It didn't concern them. For the moment, it only affected others. Oh, 
Germany was being knocked into shape, blow by blow, systematically. There was a new order for everything. Hitler called it Gleichschaltung, marching in step. There were no longer basic rights under the law. Freedom of assembly and of the press were repealed. A state of emergency was in force. Revolution from above. Terror and a confused sense of things falling apart. Yet another election in March 33. Hitler wanted a better result, confirmation from the people. Again he appeared as the tireless campaigner. He remained calm. He had resolved, if the election cannot decide it, then the decision will be reached by other means. These were the last democratic elections in Germany, but hardly free and equal. The aging president had made Hitler socially acceptable. Did he have any idea whom he had appointed? Von Papen was right about that. The election did not bring an absolute majority for Hitler. He said angrily that he wouldn't get rid of the old gang, the conservatives who had given him a hand. A show was put on for the first sitting of the Reichstag in Potsdam. Hitler in a frock coat. A petty bourgeois who conjured up a Prussian tradition all a masquerade. He didn't much care for Prussians. That the aged field marshal still marched with the leaders added an impressive touch of sentimentality. In the venerable garrison church, Hitler courted the parliament. A symbolic handshake, the old and new Germany appeared to be one. This day at Potsdam was a milestone in Hitler's journey to absolute rule. The bourgeoisie had to make peace with him. Affentheater, for me. Ich habe das nicht ernst genommen. Ich habe das als einen Betrug angesehen, der es ja auch war. Could Hitler still have been stopped? Even critical minds were dazzled. They forgot that violence had ruled since the day Hitler came into office. People thought things couldn't get any worse. He fooled everyone, and almost everyone fooled themselves about him. Two days later, the worthy man showed his true face. Dressed in the brown shirt of the SA, Hitler marched into the Kroll Opera House for the first session of the Reichstag. No longer a parliament, from now on it would meet here. Armed SA were there to intimidate the remaining Democrats. The Reichstag decided to dissolve itself. Only the Social Democratic Party voted against it. Now Hitler had all power in his hands. Democracy had been eliminated and the dictatorship had been recognized, apparently legally. Nach dem Ermächtigungsgesetz wusste man ja, dass sich da jemand ermächtigt hatte, alles Mögliche zu tun, was er nun tun wollte. Dass es ja gar kein Gremium mehr gab, dem er sich stellen musste. Und das alles, dass er gewissermaßen den Staat verkörpert. From now on, the constitution of this new state was his will. What this meant soon became clear.
opponents disappeared en masse to the so-called organized concentration camps. Dachau was the first. Everyone could read the reports in the Volkischer Beobachter of the day in Potsdam when Hitler promised law and order. unser Jugendleben weiterführen, ohne Beeinflussung. Und da wurde uns gesagt, ihr habt gegen den Staat versündigt. Nicht gegen die Nationalsozialisten, sondern gegen den Staat, gegen das Reich, gegen die nationale Erhebung. Das wurde alles mit großen Worten. Dann, und das ist der Paragraph des Versuches der, des Hochverrates. Diese totale Willkür, wer da reinkam, wie die da behandeln, ob sie gefoltert wurden oder nicht. Das gab es nur in der Diktatur. Im Rechtsstaat gibt es das ja nicht. Meine Herren, seit dem 30. Januar hat sich in Deutschland eine Umwälzung vollzogen, die in unserer Geschichte einst mit Recht als die nationale Revolution bezeichnet werden wird. Dass ein solcher geschichtlicher Vorgang wie jede Kampfhandlung hier und da auch von bedauerlichen Erscheinungen begleitet ist, liegt auf der Hand. The sneering words showed what was going on in Germany. Jews were no longer Germans. That's the way Hitler wanted it. It would end at Auschwitz. Those who could left Germany before it was too late. They included the intellectual elite of Germany. Thomas Mann, Kortner, Richard Tauber, Lubitsch had already left, and Albert Einstein. Now the real Germans were all together. Numbness and utter cynicism. Somehow these feelings complemented one another. Anyone still capable of endangering Hitler's claim to power was eliminated. On the outside, he manifested harmony, even with the unions. He, of all people, proclaimed May the 1st Labor Day, the national holiday people had wanted for so long. But he had no time for the labor movement. The end of the unions had long been ordained for the next day. Deutsche Volksgenossen und Genossinnen, der Mai ist gekommen. Armed SA commandos stormed union buildings and arrested officials. Members and assets were absorbed into the German labor front with no resistance and no general strike. Many Germans were satisfied. The end of the political parties did not worry them and the National Socialists became the state party. Many people had been waiting for Hitler to come along. He fulfilled their desire for a strong man, someone at last who took drastic action, who cleaned up the quarreling among the parties, someone who provided peace and order, someone who assumed responsibility. Many Germans did not just tolerate the system, they were part of it. An army of accomplices, officials, snoopers, informers. Who did what, when and how? The Germans were not just a nation led, but a nation of many little leaders. The gegenseitige Bespitzelung die sicher nicht offiziell angeordnet war, aber doch sehr gerne wahrgenommen wurde und setzte sehr rasch ein, 
Und konnte, man wusste jetzt, wie der Deutsche sein und denken sollte und konnte also von jedem, der nicht so dachte, konnte man das sehen. One personnel problem remained with Hitler. One from his own ranks. An old friend and fighting companion, Ernst Röhm, chief of the SA, mostly one step behind Hitler. The SA was a three million strong army of brawlers who had fought on the streets to secure Hitler's power. After that, his thugs settled some old scores, but the hoped for rush to power and sinecures failed to materialize. Their leader acts as if he was still one of them. The great time is now broken, on which we have 14 years long hoped. Deutschland is now awake. I must now thank you that you are not bankrupt, that you have me in that time not forsaken. Because only you alone have the right to write everything. Wenn ihr damals gegangen wärt, niemals wäre Deutschland mehr gerettet worden. Und ihr müsst heute nun aber auch die unerfüllbare Kampftruppe sein der nationalen Revolution. Hitler's revolution didn't go far enough for Rom. Besides, he wanted more power. The SA and Reichswehr should be a people's army under his command. Rome's demands became more and more aggressive. The German army command was put on alert. Hitler had to make a decision. It wasn't difficult. He needed the German army command for the war which he had long been planning. Hitler ordered the killing of Rome. In August 1934, President von Hindenburg died. He had come to like the strong Chancellor. Hitler appointed himself head of state. Führer was what he wanted to be called. He now had absolute power. Guten Tag, Herr Reichskanzler, became Heil, mein Führer. Waving goodbye to the old days with a new German salute. sehr geschicktes Mittel, um die Brücke zur Tradition von früher zu schlagen und insbesondere einen Teil der zögernden Offiziere, die also auch noch sehr stark monarchistisch ausgerichtet waren, an den Nationalsozialismus einzubinden. Wenn überhaupt auf jemand, dann nur auf den Führer. Das war es eben. Nicht? Und dass der Eid auf eine Person einem irgendwie lieber war als der Eid auf ein geschriebenes Buch. Nun gut, nicht? Darüber kann man urteilen, wie man will, aber das war halt so, nicht? Ich schwöre Adolf Hitler! The oath as thanksgiving for murder. The rival had been eliminated. Viele, die ihrer Gesinnung nach sozusagen in den Widerstand gehört hätten später, und das weiß ich nun aus eigenster Erfahrung, äh, war der Eid das Hemmnis, über das sie nicht hinwegkam. Und dann hat es sicherlich aber auch einen nicht unbeträchtlichen Teil gegeben, die diesen Eid als Exkulpation benutzt haben, um vor sich selber sagen zu können, ich kann eigentlich gar nichts gegen diesen Mann tun, weil ich diesen Eid geschworen habe. September 1934. 
peace reigns across the land. Hitler arrives at Nuremberg for the week-long celebration of the Reich Party Conference. Hitler now had absolute rule over Germany. The hit propaganda film was Triumph of the Will. A presumptuous will. Was ihr mich gefunden habt, einen unter so vielen Millionen, das ist das Wunder. Und dass ich euch gefunden habe, das ist Deutschlands Glück. Germany's good fortune was put into uniform. The Germans were gleichgeschaltet, made to toe the line. Hitler covered the country with a network of organizations. It was hardly possible to elude his claims to power. The show had a name, the Party Conference of the Will. One phrase expressing a program and a concept of the state, the will of the dictator. The integration of the Germans into Nazi organizations was the cement holding Hitler's dictatorship together. The individual did not count, only the mass. Only one person stood out, the dictator. It was a society marching in step. The new self-esteem wore a uniform. Hitler had to coerce only very few. He gave the people what they most missed, belief that they were great and important. eine ganz finstere Hinterseite, Rückseite hatte. Das wusste man doch, das konnte man ja wissen. Das wurde verdrängt, das wurde, durfte nicht gesagt werden. Und wenn einer auf die dunkle Hinterseite hinwies, dann äh, riskierte er dann doch seinen Kopf. Die Gestapo war doch nicht nur irgendeine freundliche Bande, die einen so mal auf die Schulter klopft und sagt, kommen Sie doch mal mit zu einem kleinen Gespräch. So, sondern äh, da blieb man ja dann gleich lange. Und es wurden ja von Anfang an auch, wie jeder schon hier und da mitbekommen konnte, die ersten Konzentrationslager eröffnet. Das Ganze war ja kein Spaß mehr, der Staat war ja überall. One place the state didn't reach, into the little corners of private happiness. But pictures like these weren't shown in the newsreels. Apart from this, the state had the Germans firmly in its grasp. Hitler had the man for the job, Heinrich Himmler, Reichsführer of the SS. His world order troop became the tool of the dictatorship. Von ihnen aus war man ein Nichtmensch, eine Unperson. Und deshalb ließen sie ihre 
Gefühle, dann freien Lauf, denn man hatte sie ja darauf gedrillt, sie hat, man hatte sie darauf erzogen. Das war, das war staatstragend. Above Himmler, ruler of this shadowy Reich, stood only one man. With God on their lips and blood on their hands, the law was broken in Germany. Whoever was capable of endangering the state was snuffed out, shut away. A vague suspicion, a conjecture was enough. The people were deprived of their rights in the name of the state and saw no harm in it. Es ist die Aufgabe der Justiz, mitzuhelfen, an der Erhaltung und Sicherung des Volkes vor jenen Elementen, die sich als asoziale entweder den gemeinsamen Verpflichtungen zu entziehen trachten oder sich an diesen gemeinsamen Interessen versündigen. Der Nationalsozialismus ist Ausgangspunkt, Inhalt und Ziel des nationalsozialistischen Rechtsdenkens geworden. Man konnte protestieren. Wie kann man denn in einer Diktatur protestieren? Junge Menschen fragen mich manchmal und sagen, warum habt ihr nicht demonstriert? Ja, möchten wir wissen, wer da äh, lebend rausgekommen wäre aus so einer Demonstration. Nee, protestieren konnte man nicht. Ich hatte Angst, selbstverständlich. Es war ein Klima der Angst damals. Man konnte in keinem Augenblick wirklich frei durchatmen. Das gab es nicht, sondern in jedem Augenblick wusste man, warte, warte, nur ein Weilchen. Und wenn ich, mein Führer, Sie hier in unserer Mitte weiß, so möchte ich Ihnen als einer Ihrer ältesten Kameraden sagen, durch die Beziehung des deutschen Volkes zu Ihnen ist zum ersten Mal in der Geschichte des deutschen Volkes der Begriff Liebe zum Führer ein Rechtsbegriff geworden. Wo deutsche Herzen wieder höher schlagen, wo deutsche Arme wieder rüstig schaffen und deutsche Kinder wieder fröhlich lachen, bist du. Wir tragen dich in unserem Herzen. Du bist der Führer, Deutschlands Retter. Du bist die Treue, du bist die Liebe, unser Glaube. Ich liebe dich aus Herzensgrund, dein will ich sein, dir will ich dienen, jeden Tag und jede Stunde, als treuer Kämpfer, tapferster Soldat. Unbegreiflich schrecklich und, und borniert und, und äh, verlogen und... Äh, Gewollt, gemacht, also endlich weg. Das ist unerträglich. The cult of the Führer was for him not simply a necessary evil to hold on to power. He himself believed in the picture he had created. Germany was to become like him, his own work of art. That was his ideal. Marshal, all was ready for battle. As foremost architect of the state, he had models made of his dreams. Above all, gigantic, colossal, the temples of a great illusion. Even after a thousand years, they were meant to continue to proclaim the greatness of his Reich. People were petrified in the monumental. Their lives were null. Only one person counted. Ein wahrer Ritter ohne Furcht und Tadel, so hat er die Fahne der Kultur, der Menschheit. Und
So hat er die Fahne der Kultur, der Menschheit und der Zivilisation in seine starke Hand genommen und sie erhobenen Hauptes der Drohung und dem Ansturm der Weltrevolution entgegengetragen. Hitler, der Führer des Volkes, der Wohltäter des Volkes, der Retter des Volkes und so weiter. Also diese Schizophrenie, also feiner oder richtiger als sicher zu sagen, diese, diese abgründige Verlogenheit, mit der das Ganze gemacht wurde. Hitler in Bayreuth. Wagner, he believed, expressed his own world view. The heroic struggle of divine titans against a world of enemies. Er hat die Dinge, die im Wagnerischen Berg ausgedrückt sind, dahingehend missverstanden, dass er praktisch, sagen wir, einerseits das Utopische und das Dramatische und auch die Wirkungsmomente äh, mit der Realität verwechselt hat. In his own Wagnerian opera, he was both director and star. For him, everything was a stage from the Reich Chancellery to the Festival Theater. Even in rehearsals, he was assessing standards for his own performance. The Führer cult taken to excess. Twilight of the idols in all its splendor. Where madness rules, the absurd is not far away. The man who wanted to be Germany wanted to be everywhere in Germany, preferably over Germany. He changed his appointments as the fancy took him. He didn't stay in one place more than a few hours, as if he had to make sure of his power across the whole Reich. He needed the allegiance of the masses everywhere. Hitler on the move. This is how he liked to rule, moving from one homage to the next, a vagabond. He made the lifestyle of his early years into a political principle. The Chancellor and Führer of the Germans shied away from regular work. The new Reich Chancellery was often deserted. It was built only for him, Adolf Hitler. The dictator didn't think of successors. He took himself to be unique. His desk was only rarely occupied. A single great idea is worth far more than an entire life behind files, he said. So the new cabinet room was merely a museum. The ministers never met here. How could power operate from here? Was Hitler a weak dictator? Had he handed the true power over to his henchmen? Increasingly, these golden pheasants of the elite were shaping the dictatorship. Some of them were getting their hands on more than power. Hitler's rule also meant corruption, intrigue, 
the exercise of arbitrary power. But it didn't seem to tarnish his reputation. If only the Führer knew. This is a Volksverdummungsquatsch gewesen, dass man sagte, ja, wenn das der Führer wusste. Der Führer wusste ziemlich viel. Der wusste auch ziemlich viel, was er vorhatte. Der wusste auch, vor, der wusste auch dass er auf einen Krieg lossteuerte. Above all, he knew that nothing happened without him. Hitler's power was based on subjugation, not authority. Criticism of the Führer was high treason. He also knew he had chieftains who hastened to do things the way they thought he would like them done. They courted his favor, and internal rivalry became a means of holding on to power. Ohne den Führer ging nichts. Das war der Eindruck, den man hatte. Nicht, nicht dass er alles selber macht, aber ohne ihn ging nichts. Divide and rule. That was Hitler's basic law. In the administration, the army and the party, new positions proliferated. There were more and more officials. Only the dictator held the overgrown body politic together. His orders were corset stays. That's how Hitler's rule worked. Nichts ist möglich, wenn nicht ein Wille befiehlt, wenn immer die anderen zu gehorchen haben. Von oben beginnen und ganz unten erst enden. Thus, the Führer principle, the core of Nazi rule. The Germans learned it from an early age. The Führer's dictatorship became dictatorship of upbringing. Whoever held youth held the future, believed Hitler. He pulled out all the stops. His goal was not evolution, but breeding. Einen neuen Menschen erziehen, auf das unser Volk nicht an den typischen Degenerationserscheinungen dieser neuen Zeit zugrunde geht. In unseren Augen, da muss der deutsche Junge in der Zukunft schlank und rank sein, flink wie Windhunde, zäh wie Leder und hart wie Kruppstahl. Community, not individuality. Allegiance, not criticism. Devotion, not explanations. Imperious, heroic, ready for anything. That's how the young should be. Community, not individuality. Mein älterer Bruder wollte nicht äh, in die, diese Massenorganisation hinein, während ich Freude daran hatte, mit anderen zusammen zu sein, mich an anderen zu messen. Und das stand eigentlich über der Ideologie, die natürlich äh, immer wieder gepredigt wurde. Aber das Gemeinschaftserlebnis, das natürlich jede andere Jugend auch hätte bieten können, die man verboten hatte, das äh, äh, habe ich auch mitgesucht. A longing for community, which the seducer abused. Er war der Repräsentant des Vaterlandes, und äh, auf keinen Fall wollte ich äh, als jemand gelten, der dem Vaterland den Dienst verweigert, den das Vaterland in Anspruch nehmen darf. Und ich kannte kein anderes Vaterland als das, was da durch Hitler repräsentiert war, und erst später wurde einem ja klar, dass dieses Vaterland von einem Judenmörder geführt wurde.
The murderer needed a war for his murderous plan. Germany was arming itself. But not at the cost of consumption. The dictator needed well-fed national comrades for his purposes. Guns and butter. Armaments on tick. In the end, it was bankruptcy or war. The dictator had made up his mind long ago. The people suspected nothing. The dictator was built on the good principle of sugarbrot and peitsche. We bid the people an. You can go to Madeira and you will get also butter, and the unemployment will be lower. Who is not parried will be thrown against the wall. Und äh, eines Tages kommt dann der Krieg und der Witwenschleier. Er wurde ja als Erlöser angesehen, der das Volk aus dieser schrecklichen Hoffnungslosigkeit erlöst und war natürlich sehr überhöht in der Vorstellung vieler Leute. Das war, eine, war immer so ein religiöser Duktus. Du, der du weißt, in welcher Not, und du, der du uns hilfst, und so. This cult worship is almost incomprehensible today. Were the Germans blind? Here, only cheering faces can be seen. Was es uns gelang, dem deutschen Volk eine neue Idee zu geben, und dieses Volk in diese Idee zu einen und zu einer neuen Lebensform zu führen. Dies ist die größte Tat dieses Jahrhunderts für unser Volk. But they were not the entire population. There were people who withdrew from this mass hysteria. Amid all the cheering, they'd whisper the joke, why do the Germans always say hello by shouting Heil? Because they no longer know what a good day is. The dictator wanted to keep his people in a good mood. He who wants to hold on to power must allow festivities. The high point was a piece of luck that fell into his lap. The Olympics under his dictatorship. The decision for a Berlin Olympics had been made before he came to power. Still, he took them as his games. Nothing was allowed to spoil the image of the peace-loving ruler, the wolf in sheep's clothing. The deception was perfect. The French team gave the Hitler salute as they marched in. Was that really necessary? For these people, it was a matter of course. While the world watched a peaceful Germany, Hitler was dictating a directive. A festival of peoples, so it seemed. Hitler was angered by the German crowd's enthusiasm for black athletes. Erster Germans, zweiter Elbetten, dritter Tauber, Amerikas Springer auf dem ersten 
When Germany lost a gold medal it seemed certain to win, the dictator took it as a personal insult. Three years later, the way was clear for Hitler. Now he could do as he pleased with the army. Wenn ich nicht daher nach dem Weg ans General Feldmarschall Schalt vom Blomberg entschloss, nun bei meiner Befehlsgewalt über die drei Wehrmachtsteile direkt auszuüben, dann hoffe ich, dass wir dadurch zu jener Verstärkung unserer militärischen Machtmittel in kürzester Zeit kommen werden, die die allgemeinen Zeitumstände heute angezeigt haben lassen. The circumstances meaning war. Hitler celebrated his 50th birthday with the greatest military parade Germany had ever seen. The birthday of an absolute ruler. For him, the people were merely an instrument bound to his own fate. These boots continued to echo around Germany. A year later, they marched through half of Europe. Poland, Denmark, Norway, Holland, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, and so on. For four hours, a stream of military vehicles, tanks and artillery rolled past the reviewing stand. Hitler's Reich was ready for the coming war. That was the message of this display. It was glossed over by a tradition that had already been abused. The cheering crowds did not know they were being deceived. They did not know that they were being led into war. It no longer had anything to do with their will, only his. Soldaten geschossen. Seit 5.45 Uhr wird jetzt zurückgeschossen. 